Support grows for Janae Edmondson, the teen who lost both of her legs when a driver hit her downtown Saturday. Tonight News 4 Investigates is getting to the bottom of why that driver, Dan Daniel Riley, was running free. He had more than four dozen bond violations for other crimes. And tonight, News 4 Investigator Susan L. Corey reports his bond this time around will not be happening. We spent the day looking into Riley's background and found this. It's his Missouri driver's record and shows the 21 year old never had a license, meaning he was driving illegally that tragic night. Here's what else we know. Riley was out on bond accused of being armed and stealing a gun in August 2020. That case was supposed to go to trial, but we learned from sources that the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office wasn't ready. They ended up having to dismiss the case and refile it the same day. The judge put Riley on house arrest with the GPS tracker. Court records show he violated that 51 times, ranging from not charging the tracker to being out of the house when he wasn't supposed to. In records like these, you can see maps showing him moving around St. Louis. We know that the GPS monitoring was done by a private company that works with the court. They report every violation and that gets put in the court record. A notice is also sent to prosecutors. According to a statement from St. Louis Circuit Courts, notice is not emailed to judges, meaning it was up to the circuit attorney's office to do something. To date, the circuit attorney's office has never filed a motion to revoke Riley's bond. Records filed today show that Riley claims he's been working in home health care for four months, making $15 an hour. We're going to keep asking the circuit attorney's office why they never filed to have Riley's bond taken away and what they're doing to make sure people who don't follow the conditions of their bond are then held accountable. Susan L. Corey, News 4 Investigates.